the robots are trying to silence us. You can now use AI, artificial intelligence, to cut out pretty much any background noise from any audio source on the fly in real time. You're definitely gonna to wanna to watch this video and find out how you can set this up for yourself. What's going on guys, Ryan B here with Ride Tech Gaming and in this video we are covering NVIDIA's new program, RTX Sound, which is a new program that looks to leverage AI to cut out background noise from any audio source to clean up the output signal. And I have to say, this works fantastically. Now I did mention it is RTX and NVIDIA recommends using an RTX card for this program because it does use the tensor cores on that card specifically. However, if you watch the end of the video, I will show you a way that you can get this working on any other card as well. So watch to the end to find that out. And as always guys, if you do like this video or find it useful in any way, make sure you hit a like on the video. It goes a long way to spreading out this video to other people that might find it useful. And if you do like content like this, think about subscribing to the channel. We have other content similar to tech videos as well as streaming tips as well, if that's your kind of thing. And I do stream myself every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, link in the description below if you guys wanna come and check that out. So I wanted to run this through as many different applications as possible to see who exactly this would be useful for. So if you are someone who only really does conference calls, if maybe you only use your microphone through directly in-game chat, if you only use something like Discord for your chat, if you are a streamer and you run through like Streamlabs OBS or other broadcasting software, or if you run it through a mixer like the GoXLR, which gives you a bunch of different sources, and it works for all of these options. I tested it through each one of these. And I have to say it works pretty dang well with all of these. Now, of course, I could tell you all day how good it is, but the most important thing for you guys is to actually hear it for yourself and see the difference. So let's go ahead and just jump over to the computer. I'll show you guys how to set this up and I'll show you examples of it being on and off with a bunch of different background noise. And I try to push the limits of this to see exactly how far we can take it. So let's go ahead and hop on over the computer and check that out. So now that we are at the computer, the first thing we wanna do is go over to this website here and I'll have a link for it in the description down below for you guys as well. And this is a full setup guide from NVIDIA themselves. So if you guys want to check that out or need any extra help setting this up, this will kind of walk you through everything. You scroll down, they tell you the requirements that you need an RTX card with the drivers 410 and up. Now, like I said, if you watch to the end, I'll show you guys kind of a workaround to get away from that. A bunch of supported apps. And then right here in the setup guide, you have the download the app button. So go ahead and click that and go ahead and run through the installer. I already have it installed, so I'm not gonna run through it again, but you can put it wherever you need it and install it for you guys itself. And then once we run it, it will look like this. I'll definitely give you guys a second to kind of run through yours. But once you do have it open, this is what the whole app looks like. So it just kind of tells you that it uses AI to remove background noise from audio. And to enable the RTX voice, you gotta configure your settings here for your input and output device, and then select NVIDIA RTX voice in the apps speaker microphone settings so whatever app you're using if that's any sort of broadcast software if it's discord or any game app instead of using your typical mic input you're going to want to use the rtx input and i'll kind of show you guys that in just a second so when you are setting up the app the input is of course going to be your microphone for me it's chat mic because i'm running this all through my go xlr so i have an xlr mic here that's plugged into the go xlr and then your output device is gonna be your speakers. So headset, if you have it, or if you have speakers or anything like that, or again, if you have a setup like this where you're running through a Go XLR, mine's gonna be system because that's how I have it all routed. But again, input device is your microphone, output device is your speakers or headset, whatever you're listening from. And now in order to enable this, once you have it all set up, all you have to do is just click this button here and it will start running live just from there. For now, I'm gonna disable it so we can go through another setup for you guys. So what I wanna do right now is kind of show you guys how to set it up through Streamlabs OBS. It's gonna look a little weird at first, just kind of bear with me. And then go down into the settings and go into audio. Go ahead and pull this over so you guys can see it. And so currently we have the system audio, which is kind of all the sounds going on on my computer. And then my microphone, as you can see, that's making noise here. Now, in order to set this up, we will need to change our mic setting and scroll down and then enable NVIDIA RTX voice. So that's gonna be your new microphone setting when you have this thing set up. So we'll just click that and it will enable the RTX voice instead of the microphone that we had normally set up. And then the next thing I'm gonna change is I currently have a sound gate open on my Go XLR. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my sound gate. And then for the sake of this, I'm gonna be listening in on my headphones. And from here, you will be hearing background noise currently. So we have the background, like some fan noise that's coming through the PC right now. If I move it, you can probably hear it a little louder now. 
So this is typical. You got just residual fan noise going off. And let's say that I was messing with a water bottle. You can kind of still see it in frame. You guys can kind of hear it. That's what messing with a water bottle sounds like. Now, if I was to mess with my keys, I got a really clicky keyboard. You guys can hear all that. Let's see if I was messing with a mouse. Now, let's say if I was to throw the water bottle and it kind of makes that sound. All those sounds, we're gonna go ahead and find the RTX. We're gonna go ahead and click the enable. It's gonna take a second. Now, we currently have it running in the background, so you should not hear any more residual fan noise. That should be completely cut off. Now, pull out the water bottle, wiggle it around. Maybe hear the keyboard again. And so you guys can see it. And I'm talking while I'm clicking on the keyboard so you guys can kind of get a sound recognition from it. So there's that. And again, water bottle, if I was to just chuck it behind me, you can hear that. I wanna kind of see how far exactly we can push this. So for the moment, I'm going to go ahead and turn it back off. So we should be able to hear the background noise again. Again, I'll mess with the water bottle. Move this out of the way so we only see these two things. Water bottle again. So you should be able to hear all this background noise. Keys and all that. Now I have a vacuum and an air compressor set up to see exactly how far we can push this and see how the sound changes. Kind of hard to see, but vacuum. That's what that sounds like without the noise gate. I'll go ahead and turn that on. And it's still on, I haven't changed it. Nothing different still going it's plugged in and everything and that's the sound and again i'll turn it back off and there's the sound again back on and it cuts out and i'm turning it off again turn off that sound for you guys now the next thing that i got is a small one gallon air compressor this thing is actually extremely loud and I only like to use this thing when I have hearing protection on to put this on and I can't hear anything now. So. That's what that thing sounds like. Let's see if this will actually remove anything by turning it on. Seems like it's working pretty good. It's still kind of hearing me fast. Can't really hear the air compressor. And again, I'll turn off. The NVIDIA stuff, now you can hear it. And then this is what it sounds like when the AI is turned back on with a really loud air compressor. So as you can see, this thing works pretty darn amazing. Now we definitely hit a limit when we're putting an air compressor right next to the microphone. But again, as you can see in the video, I definitely have to wear hearing protection anytime I use that air compressor because it is extremely loud and it definitely makes the audio from a microphone really muddied. So if you are right next to any sort of air compressors, you should probably just move your setup and then you'll be fine. But any sort of other normal background noise like vacuums, people yelling or screaming, you got keyboard shatter, any sort of messing around on your desk, if you're throwing stuff in your background, that pretty much deletes all of it and you can still hear your main audio source just fine. So if you guys do use this, let me know how it works for you in the comment section down below. Now I did also mention to you guys that if you made it to the end of the video, I would show you exactly how you can set this up for non-RTX cards. And as of right now, it's not currently patched by NVIDIA. If it does get patched, I'll try to let you guys know. And as well, let me know in the comment section below if it does get patched and you guys find out that it doesn't work for you. 
So to get this to work on a non-RTX card, you are gonna need to find the RTX voice.nvi file that's usually located in your C temp slash RV RTX voice. And then over into the NVAFX right here. And then you wanna find that file that's right there. Open that up. And you're gonna to wanna to find this section here that's between constraints, property name, features, RTX voice, level equals silent. And it's right here. Just go ahead and highlight that and delete it. This is the thing that'll tell you if you're on an RTX card or not. And then save the file. And as always guys, if you did find this video helpful, make sure to hit a like on the video. Think about subscribing if you wanna see more content like this. And if you guys have any more questions, if you have trouble setting this up, just let me know in the comment section down below or think about hopping in the Discord where I can try to help you one-on-one -on -one to get this set up for you guys. And as always, relevant content right here, you guys can click on.